Hello, Aaron with Grow Lawn here, UglyWeeds.com. Today I'm coming to you from Burleson, Texas, over by the Southern Oaks Edition. It's September 16th, 2019, and Shy and I are checking out this lawn that we've kind of taken on as a project. Hello, Aaron here with Grow Lawn, UglyWeeds.com. Today I'm coming to you from Burleson, Texas. I'm in the Southern Oaks Edition. And today I'm at a customer's property that I've kind of taken on as a little project because they have a bunch of blue stem and Dallas grass and buttonweed in their yard. And today I, I sprayed the, um, the blue stem and Dallas grass for the third time with Roundup. Dallas grass is dead, but the blue stem, you can see it's still alive. It doesn't care about round up all that much it's, it is hot so it's fair to say that the blue stem might be stressed out a little bit but this yard is getting plenty of water so i can't imagine that that's the reason why so if you're struggling with blue stem and you're spraying it with roundup it's going to take a couple times and don't give up on it make sure it's dead before you start digging it up or putting new sod out because you don't want it to go, come through back again um, today i've also sprayed the crabgrass on this property uh, continuing um, continuing my test with manuscript and I'm using this for the um, crabgrass here here's some crabgrass right here it's very mature crabgrass I sprayed it at the label rate of 0.44 ounces per gallon and I did a, just did a spot treatment in this Bermuda section and here's what I used to do it with and there's, they also had some Dallas grass and blue stem in their St. Augustine that I sprayed with Roundup. There's no control for blue stem when it's in anything. You're gonna have to either dig it up or spray it with Roundup. But as you can see, the other parts of the St. Augustine are looking absolutely delicious. Handsome, awesome, because we put the right stuff on this yard. Uh, we've been using organic fertilizer on St. Augustine. And what we did is we had some blue stem, some Dallas grass, and some buttonweed. And I'm going to give you an example of what blue stem looks like. There's some blue stem over here. This is on the neighbor's property. There's some here, and there's some here. And the only control for blue stem and Dallas grass currently is Roundup or, or Dig It Up. So what we did in this case is we talked to the homeowner and we told him what to expect. And this is what to expect when once the weed has died, it's going to take some of the, the grass with it. And so this is what it'll look like. These kind of spots here and over here, this is the Bermuda grass. There was some Dallas grass over here. Notice you're going to notice some, some crab grass and stuff. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. That's an annual weed easy to control. Um, this spot here, all of these spots, these had blue stem in it. As you can see over here, we got some, some blue, some blue stem that died off. You can see the dead, the dead plants. Now what I'm doing today is I'm going to go and some of the blue stem didn't die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and follow up and just hit some, some of the areas that, that got missed or that didn't completely die. I'm gonna go over here and show you guys how to mix up some Roundup. I have a gallon of fresh water. So what I have is I just have regular glyphosate. Uh, this is a generic version. And I have a surfactant. A surfactant is what we add to the product to help the, the uh, herbicide stick to the plant. I have one gallon and I'm going to put, I'm gonna use a 3% mix so it's going to be almost four gallons or four ounces to a gallon so there's my four ounce line and i only need about a half an ounce of uh, surfactant it doesn't take much this stuff goes a little bit goes a long way there's my half ounce oh that's almost an ounce there we go shake it up what's good about this backpack sprayer it's just the electric pump so i don't have to pump it constantly and this is a chapin I'll put uh, what kind of sprayer it is down in this description and also the Roundup. So for example, this is a spot that had the blue stem on it and there's, a, there's some right here that didn't, 
that uh, didn't get controlled. So there's that one. Now I pulled some of this blue stem up so I could see where it was because it's, it's mixed in with the St. Augustine and because you, you really can't see it sometimes. So what I've done is I've, I've pulled up so I could know where to spray. Here's some more over here. And so when you're applying a spot treatment like this, you're gonna spray the plant to wet. Well, if, it's, if you spray it and it's dripping off, that's too much. Here's some of the crabgrass that we sprayed with the manuscript. We sprayed this whole area with the manuscript. Um, I'll, that's in the earlier part of the video. As you can see, it didn't work. So we won't be using manuscript for Dallas grass, or sorry, crabgrass treatments. It also didn't work on Dallas grass, so we won't be using it for that either. Like for instance, there's a little bit of a Dallas grass that was coming back. So this, is, this was an area of Dallas grass that died off and there's a little bit right there coming back. That's why you gotta come by and double check after you spray it to make sure you get it. Because if you don't get it, and you're gonna have to start all over, especially with blue stem. That little rascal right there, we, we sprayed it several times with Roundup and if you don't get it all, it's coming back. This was an area that had the button weed. And there's some right here. If you could sh show this right here, this little leaf right here. Button, button weed's another hard one to control. So I'm gonna hit that. So now that we're done spraying, I'm gonna show you a couple ways, or tell you a couple ways on how, how these areas can fill in. One, this Bermuda in St. Augustine will eventually spread from the runners. Um, St. Augustine has above ground runners, which are called uh, stolons, and they run across the top of the ground, and that's how that grass could spread. Bermuda, they have rhizome, so that it'll spread that way too. If you've ever had a flower bed, anybody in North Texas has flower beds, wonders why their flower beds have Bermuda three, four feet in from the edging, is because it's a rhizome that went under the edging and popped up in the middle of their flower bed. And then before you know it, you got a flower bed full of Bermuda grass. So I have this, this right here. This is a really cool thing. I'll put this in the description also. It's called the Planting Tool Pro Plugger. And what you're gonna do is now that you've sprayed your areas and they're dying, I'm not gonna pick an area that I, I sprayed with a Roundup, even though it would probably be okay. Again, there's a big misconception of how Roundup works. It's uh, foliar absorbed and it gets down into the root system and that's how it works. If you spray it on, it's not gonna affect your seed. It's not gonna affect uh, woody plants like that tree. I could spread the base of that tree and it wouldn't affect it. It's absorbed through foliar leaves, translocates down into the root system and that's how it works. So for example, if I wanna put a plug All right, so this is what it would look like. It pulls a plug like this, and then you just go over to an area in here. You pull your plug out, and then you replace it with this. Now, these plugs are gonna need to be watered several times a day for them to spread out. The best thing to do would be water it three to four times a day to get it established. Once it gets established after the first month, you can resume regular watering after that. And then eventually this yard would be fine. So to finish what I was saying, you know, the three ways you can let this yard fill in is one, just let it fill, on, fill, fill in on its own. Two, you can use a plugger. And three, you can sod. I highly recommend sod. You don't wanna, you don't wanna leave bare ground unattended for very long because you're just gonna end up with a, a ton of weeds, probably annual weeds and that would be okay, but I mean, cut these areas out and put them in, be done with it. Um, like I said, you could just let it fill in over time and it'll take about a season. Yards that are worse than this or you've had to spray more Roundup are obviously gonna take maybe two seasons to fill in, but for right now, there is no control for Dallas grass that doesn't kill the rest of your yard too. And that goes for blue stem especially. Um, button weed, there's some, there's some claims to control buttonweed, like Celsius. Um, we found that it just suppresses it and it, it, you'll have to keep spraying it on and on and on for the rest of your life. And so who wants to do that? So just hit it with Roundup and be done with it. If you have any questions about Dallas grass, blue stem or buttonweed or any, anything like that, give us a call. Um, we can help you. We'll even come out to your yard, even if you're not a customer and check it out and give you some, some cool tips. So subscribe to our channel. And if you need anything, call us at 817-447-7711.
or you can reach us at our website at uglyweeds.com. Thanks.